Hi guys, this is Elise, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful beginning of your week. Um, I have a few things to share with you today. I have my giveaway that is overdue that I'm going to do. That's giveaway number six. And then I have a couple little things I want to show you that I got from the swap meet. And I have um, a small haul and a project share. So let me show you what I got from the swap meet first. Um, I went on, I didn't go to the swap meet this past Sunday. Um, but I went last Tuesday. Yesterday, I actually spent the whole day at the outlet mall with my daughter and a friend and her daughters. And we had a wonderful time. It was really, really hot. But we endured the heat and the girls were able to shop and get lots of fun things and outfits and things like that. So we had a great girls day yesterday. Um, so I didn't make it to the swap meet. But I went last Tuesday. And on Tuesday, there was this gal there that had... Um, all of this, she had this huge turtle collection, which was really weird, but um, she had the cutest, I mean, there were hundreds, guys, I mean, hundreds of turtles, little turtles. So I got a few, and I just love stuff like this. Um, I love little things like this in my craft room, and I can just tuck these little guys somewhere. But let me show you the ones that I got. I got this glass one. Look how cute that is. And she said that what she had there at the swap meet, that wasn't even half of what she had at home. So she was trying to get rid of her turtle collection. So she was going to be bringing them to the swap meet to um, just kind of sell them there if she could. So I picked up four. So I got this little guy here. And then I got these two little ones right here. He's so cute. Look how cute that is. And I got this one right here. And, you know, by the time I saw her, she was towards the end of the swap meet. So by the time I saw her, I didn't have much money left. And I was kind of tired. It was hot. So I didn't, you know, like look through all of the turtles that she had. I just picked a few that I saw that just kind of caught my eye. That I thought were really cute and not too big. And then I went to um, Michael's. And Michael's had last week their Jolie stickers were 40% off, I think. 40% off. And so I saw these and I thought in my junk journal, I could do a page and take a picture of these little guys and maybe add some of these little stickers to the page. I thought that would be really, really cute. So that's what I got. I got those at um, Michael's and that was last week. So they may not be on sale now, but they were, they were last week. Um, the other thing I found at the swap meet, let me move these out of the way. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I'll move these out of the way first. The next thing I got at, um, not the swap meet, but Michael's. Um, I got these um, paint brushes because my giveaway number six is for these paint brushes. And I'm going to pull a name in just a few minutes. And so um, I thought, you know, when I saw these at Michael's and this whole pack, you get 50 paint brushes. These were $8. And I saw these and I thought maybe if you're interested in, you know, if you need, if you need some paint brushes, um, this is kind of a good deal. And not only did they have this one, they had another pack with wider um, tips. And that was also $8. And I think that one had 30 paintbrushes in a pack. But this is 50 And I don't know about you, but sometimes I have a bad habit of sometimes not cleaning my brushes right away. Or I may grab a paintbrush and use it for glue. And then they get ruined and I end up tossing it. I have a really bad habit of doing that. <clears throat> so I thought if I had these... And I love the tips on these because they're all different sizes, but they're all pretty small. And so these would be great for watercoloring. Um, but they, it says that they're all purpose brushes, but I was thinking more watercoloring when I got these. So I got those and those came from Michaels. I got those from Michaels. And then um, these are the paint brushes that I'm going to be giving away this week. So let me do that real quick since we're talking about paint brushes. And then I have a project share. Okay, so... I had several names once again this week for my swap meat giveaway. Thank you guys so much. And I am going to just mix these up a little bit. Make sure I don't lose any. Okay. And then I'm going to turn my head just a little bit and choose someone. Okay. So the winner of the paintbrushes is D and Sheets. Okay, D Ann, you are the winner. I will send you a message and I will be sending these paintbrushes out to you and I'll probably cut some watercolor um, papers and things for you um, as well. So these belong to Deanne Sheets. Thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for participating. Okay, so I have a project share, a couple little projects. So first of all, guys, I've made a layout, which I don't scrapbook. 
very often. I mean, every once in a while I, I do, but when I do a scrapbook page, it's usually a, an eight by eight like this is. I think 12 by 12s are just, just too much space, but I can handle a little eight by eight like this. So <clears throat> this is a picture of me and, um, I use some of those petal flowers. These die cut pieces or these stickers, these are from, I think, I want to say a an Echo Park pack, paper pack, Echo Park. I think it's called Summer. I think it's Echo Park. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll link it in the description box. But anyway, but this is a picture of me, and I just did a quick little layout one morning when I got up. And this paper right here is really, really pretty. I just backed it with some black just to sort of stand out a little bit more and then I put it on this pretty lime green um, paper and so there's my layout and I just put it right here okay so then I also you guys know I have been making journals and I have been making clips for my Etsy shop so I have a few more clips and a couple more journals that I'm going to list in my shop and so here's one and then I also tea dyed some of these tags not tea dyed, but coffee dyed, some of these tags. And so all of my little um, clips are going to go on these little tags. And it says prettiesbyalise.etsy.com. Okay, so there's the first one. And then here's another one. And then I added these word stickers. And this one says grace, and I put a little glossy accent on top. And I thought these turned out really, really cute. This one says encourage one another. And again, you can just clip these in your planner, in your traveler's notebook, in your junk journal. Uh, you can even clip them in a book that you're reading as a um, book marker. So a page marker, excuse me. And so here's this one. I thought this one was really adorable. And then this one, it says memoir. And this one, and it says inspire. And this one, I added a little bit of, uh, little. I had a little scrap of ticking um, fabric that was sitting on my desk and I just plopped it on there and I thought those turned out really really adorable I just love making these these are so much fun and guys when I list these if you're interested in one grab one because um, I listed some not too long ago actually before I did this video and before I could actually do my video um, they were sold so um, so if you're interested in these, go grab them when you see them. Okay, so here are the journals that I made. I made two more journals. Here's the first one, and I just love the way these are turning out. This is so much fun to do. Um, I used this pretty, pretty fabric, and I sewed. Um, there's paper. Um, the paper is, let me show you the paper. I tied it together with this ticking um, fabric. And... Let me show you how these turned out. It's crinkled paper in the inside. There's ticking fabric in the inside. And this paper is dyed very lightly with um, some spray. I sprayed it. You can't really see it, but there's a very light hint of pink. And it is coffee, um, coffee stained a little bit. Um, no, it's not. It's not coffee stained. It's just um, sprayed, and then I put it in the oven. And that's why that page got a little brown there but I love the way it looks so here's the first one and I use some more of this vintage these vintage clothing tags there's a couple wooden buttons on my stamp it says replace fear of the unknown with curiosity and I just love the way this turned out there's some of that vintage Chanel and some vintage lace and some vintage lace here trim really pretty I love this one and this one measures um this one actually was a little bit bigger I believe this one is um let me see if I can get a ruler just a second guys let's see uh if I can reach it oh okay, wait just a second my ruler is under my desk okay sorry about that this one measures this is seven by um, about nine and a half. So this is about seven and by nine and a half. It was a little bit bigger. I actually had to purchase some larger paper to cut down to put in this. But I love the way that turned out. That's the first one. And those are going to go in my store real soon. And here's the second one. And I just love this. I used the same fabric, that pretty, pretty fabric. And then I added some of those clothing tickets. And um, here's a little vintage um, piece here, some vintage um, trim, more of that vintage Chanel. And it also says replace 
fear of the unknown with curiosity and there's some buttons here and again this one is on um, the same type of paper in the inside it has a, just a little hint of pink to it really really pretty so those are my journals and those are going to go in my etsy shop um, i'm going to try to get them in there tonight if you're interested um but thank you guys so much and dn sheets you're the winner so you can send me a message or i'll be messaging you um thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a wonderful week bye